Well, hello and welcome to my layer. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie, and today it's very, very late. As you can tell, different lighting, red face, cup of tea, because yes, people, I still drink it. Uh, <laughs> um, yes, it is quite, quite late. Uh, it is about three o'clock in the morning, but I cannot sleep. So I thought, what better should I do with my time? I could lie in bed and be totally mad and upset and get frustrated. Oh, wait, I already did that. I already did that. So I thought, well, you know what? Let's make a cup of tea. Let's talk to the YouTube. <laughs> and I've been thinking recently about my pens that I pretty much always have in my rotation. Um, and I've, I've done top lists. I've done like top five most used. I've done, uh, you know, like my top three, like of all time, that kind of stuff. I didn't want to do a top list necessarily. I just wanted to talk to you guys about some of my favorite fountain pens. Uh, and I've been slowly going through my collection and trying to get rid of some of them. Uh, not because I don't like them anymore. It's just I have far too many. <laughs> I have far too many fountain pens. But these ones are some of my favorites. So I'm going to take a sip of tea and get right into it. <sighs> Delicious. This is uh, Twinnings or Twinings, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, super blends their nighttime calm <laughs> not that I'm ever calm uh, let me start with the newest pen on my table essentially is it my newest pen yes it's my newest pen the Benu Briolet <laughs> it's three in the morning guys what can I say um, actually now that I think about this all of the pens I'm going to talk about today, I have done full reviews of, so feel free to check those out. Um, one of them I have not yet done a review of that's not technically one of my favorites. I've classified it as a honorable mention because it's not my pen, uh, but review coming soon. <laughs> Uh, so the Bennu Briolette. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I've been collecting Bennu pens for a while now. Um, I'm actually getting some of them out. It all started with this pen. This is the Bennu Euphoria uh, Bourbon. So this pen is what started the whole obsession with Bennu. Uh, I bought this pen a couple years ago, and I I don't want to say I was anti Bennu, but <laughs> I kind of was, and the reason why I was kind of anti Bennu for a bit was because it was really flashy, and it took me a while to get into flashy, and I thought they were kind of expensive for steel nib pens, but then one time I just decided to bite the bullet and get this one because it's gorgeous, and I absolutely fell in love. Now I have uh, too many. Too many. But the Briolette is the one that I purchased actually for my birthday this year. Uh, so January 2023, uh, and it is my favorite out of all of the Bennu pens. I have three Talismans and three Euphorias, <laughs> and now I have a Briolette. The Briolette, I just absolutely adore. It writes phenomenally. In fact, this has been consistently inked up since I got it in January. It has never not been inked up since I got it. I currently have Diamond Ancient Copper in here. It writes extraordinarily well. Um, I adore the color. This is the luminous amber. Fits really nicely in my hand. Uh, I will write for a very long time with this pen, and I do not fatigue. I am taking off a of Parker hair. <laughs> um, so again, check the full um, video that I've done of this one if you want to see like the detailed reviews. Uh, but this is probably my favorite favorite. Pen. Yep, my all time favorite, I think, right now. <laughs> Moving right along, one I've had for a very long time and has made many a list of top pens, and that's this little guy, 
the Caveco Sport, but specifically this one, because you guys know, I mean, I've got a billion of them. I've got even more down here. In fact, all of these ones, I am listing for sale uh, very shortly. Um, I'm going to be listing a whole bunch of pens very shortly for sale. Uh, my Patreon crew, link in the description if you want to be a part of the Fem Jam. Uh, my Patreon crew will get exclusivity first uh, just because, you know, Patreon. And then I will post it on Instagram and the YouTubes. But this one won't be here because this one specifically, for whatever reason, and I don't know why, uh, but for whatever reason, this one specifically out of all of the Cavecos is my favorite. It's just, I don't know. There's just something about it. It's a fine nib. Uh, my Briolette was fine as well, by the way. Um, and it just sits really nicely in my hand. I do use it posted. Uh, my favorite ink to put in this is Diamine Polar Glow. Um, I do have the Push Converter. And I just feel, I think, I think the general... The general thing really with these two pens and then the other two I'm going to talk about as well. Well, actually the other one for sure, but we'll get there. <laughs> I just feel comfort when I use these. Uh, and I think that is why they're my favorite, but it also writes really, really well. Um, this one I have tuned to be a little smoother uh, and a little wetter than Caveco typically makes their pens. Um, but the Bennu, I did not modify at all. Factory Fresh, Magnifique. And then, you knew it had to be here, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. I mean, come on. This is the Pilot Custom 912 with the FA nib and an ebonite feed. So this pen usually comes with a plastic feed. This ebonite feed uh, I purchased from nibsmith.com, but it's from flexible, flexible, ooh, flexible, flexible writing, flexible factory. I think that's it. Nib factory, flexible factory, nib factory, nibfactory.com. I think that's it. 3 a.m. brain guys. Uh, so con 70, which I don't absolutely adore, but you know, whatever, good enough. Uh, but with the ebonite feed, the falcon nib, ooh, baby, she writes so well, so well, so smooth. It's really nice in my hand. Um, I really like putting diamine writer's blood in here. Uh, any chromo schematic, chromo schematic, <laughs> chromo chromatic, I don't know. The, the inks that like change color, essentially. <laughs> so like a Manyo, Sailor Manyo Fuji, um, uh, Troublemaker, Milky Ocean, Petrichor, those kind of things. Um, dynamite, because it's so, 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 so wet. Because this ebonite feed has three slits in it, uh, and it's ebonite, and it just pours out of here. It is ridiculous. But I really like this one for my everyday writing, because I'm not a flex writing person. I really don't enjoy it. But I really like that this is so responsive. Um, to when you're actually writing uh, and depending on my mood my writing with this will change drastically depending on how much pressure I put down um, and it just gives natural line variation because the tines are able to open up really really easily um, so it's super hilarious and funny to go back and look at my journal entries with that pen um, because without even reading I know exactly exactly my temperament when I'm writing with that. Uh, it's really funny. 10 out of 10, recommend. Uh, and then the last one that is my favorite actually used to be a pen that I hated. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a video shortly, probably within the next week or two, uh, talking about my basically top five pens that I was, I've been very disappointed by. Uh, and this pen is on this list which you're probably thinking, why? <laughs> why is something that's on your favorite pen list uh, a disappointment? Well, there's a story behind it. It's a quick story, so let's get into it. Uh, and it is the Visconti Homo Sapiens uh, Arizona Sunset. So I do have also the Midnight in Florence. This has a palladium nib, this has a gold nib. Um, 
When I got the Midnight in Florence, I loved it right away. It's a fine nib, super wet, super crazy, uh, writes really well. This one has the gold nib, which I was expecting good things for because um, Emmy from Pen Venture lent me his pen, uh, his what was a exclusive to them, but now it's been sold out. Anyways, uh, and it had a gold nib on it and it wrote absolutely amazing. In fact, one of the best writing pens I have ever had in my whole life. Uh, and I thought, wow, these gold nibs outperform the um, palladium nibs like insane. Well, I got an extra fine on this because the fine on the um, other one is pretty big. It is, this sucked. <laughs> this really, really sucked. It did not write that well. It was kind of scratchy. It was dry. Um, I mean, I don't remember having hard starts or anything, but it just sucked. <laughs> So, but I love everything about the Homo sapien size. I love the feel. I am just like absolutely adore the hook, lit, hook safe lock mechanism. Um, I really like the materials. Of course, I'm a sucker for anything like, you know, orangey, red, brown, warm tones. Uh, so big sucker for that. Got an extra fine nib and had big plans for this pen. Um, I wanted to put my Wonder Pens exclusive ink uh, Ginger Chicken into it, Mont Blanc James Party and Sons, such plans, such great plans. But the pen sucked. It sucked bad. So uh, I sent it away. I sent it to Romania. I sent it to hang out with my good friend Emmy, and he tuned it for me to write like his pen. And now, she beauty. Now she's nice and wet. She's smooth, glorious. Ten out of ten recommend now um so that is why this pen was such a disappointment but is glorious now so these are my four favorite pens at the moment um i cannot see any of them being knocked around but or knocked over whatever but these are my four favorite pens uh, and i do have one more and like i said it's an honorable mention because it's not my pen and i do not have a review of this one yet but it will be coming within uh, probably potentially Friday, if not Friday, uh, either Monday or Friday next week. So by the end of next week, I'm almost positive uh, by the end of next week. And that is a big daddy, the big Mac daddy. This is the Sailor Pro Gear, King of Pens. Uh, yes, this is Emmy's pen. This is not mine. So again, Emmy from Pen Venture. Uh, he sent this to me to try out. Um, if you watched my review that I just posted um, on f last Friday on the Sailor Pro Gear Slim, which I have in my case here, this guy, then you will know that I'm going to be doing a video comparing um, the main three, so the Slim, the... Uh, regular size and then the king of pens uh, so I'm going to do a video coming up of that as well um, this one is super beefy <laughs> and I was not expecting to like it but I really really do I mean check out the nib size like y'all <laughs> the homo sapiens has a pretty large nib but like it's bigger <laughs> it's a lot bigger like, dang. Uh, and then especially if you put it up against uh, a number five size nib, so like against my Benu Briolette. Look at the little guy. Look at him, he's just so cute. Oh, He's gonna get a complex. <laughs> um, so yeah, long story short, I actually kind of hate that I like this pen. Um, because it's so expensive. Oh my gosh, it's so expensive. And I kind of really like that it's like metal enclosure here. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna go into the crazy details because I'm gonna do a review on it, um, but I really, really like it. Uh, and if I ever do find one at a good price, um, I will be picking one up. Um, probably not in the demonstrator. I'd want one of the like special edition color ones. Um, and this 
uh, pen in particular has a broad nib. It is a little too broad for me, um, but you guys, it writes like I, wow, wowie, wowie, wowie. And I really like the inner cap. Uh, it has sort of like a, a super intense like slip and seal mechanism, uh, like the platinum, and I really, really enjoy it. All done. Um, so that's why it's an honorable mention because it's basically my, my new favorite and I want to buy it, but it's not mine. So it doesn't really count. So that's why it's an honorable mention. But these four pens are all over the place. <laughs> Just like my brain tonight. Uh, these four pens are my favorite. So let me know in the comment section down below what is your favorite fountain pens right now? What are your favorite fountain pens right now? Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm super curious and I want to know more things to spend my money on because that's how this hobby works. <laughs> uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you liked it but haven't done so already, do hit the subscribe. New videos come out every Monday and Friday and the occasional Tuesday. Um, check out the description down below to find a link to my Patreon account if you would like to support me and what I do on this channel. Not every video is going to be done at 3 a.m. where I'm a rambling, incoherent mess, but if you're still watching this far in, comment Pop-Tart, because <laughs> I really want a Pop-Tart right now. The Frosted Strawberry, the OG. All right. Peace, y'all. Big shout out to all my Patreon members. Uh, let me know if you prefer this quick version or the older version where I went through one by one. But I appreciate all of you so, so much.